Want to know what turns bread from this to this? Or maybe why you need to punch down dough for that extra fluffy goodness? Well, you're in luck, because this week on Victor Fake Science, we're going to be looking at yeast. To find out what yeast can do for us, we're going to do a very simple experiment. Here we've got all the ingredients we need to make a loaf of bread. We've got our flour, water, yeast, oil, a little bit of sugar, and a little bit of salt. So, let's get right to it. in both bowls. We're just going to add the yeast mixture to this one. And then give them a good stir. And now we're going to knead the dough for about 10 to 15 minutes, which thankfully in YouTube times takes about 4 seconds. So now the yeast has to go sit somewhere warm and think about what it's done. And in the meantime, let's learn some more about it. So it turns out yeast is a microscopic fungus. Ugh. But it is a pretty useful fellow. Not only do we use it to make tasty, tasty baked goods, it's also needed to make beer and wine. So I can definitely get over the whole fungus thing. And just to make things difficult, yeast isn't actually one species. In fact, there are over 1,500 different types. But the one that we're interested in is called baker's yeast. Baker's yeast, like most types of yeast, are only 3 to 4 micrometers in diameter. That's tiny! That's over 100 times smaller than a grain of sugar. But what's it doing in my dough? So, the reason why yeast is used in baking is because while it's munching away on the sugars in the dough, it's actually converting them into carbon dioxide. That's why the dough without any yeast still looks sad and small like this, whereas the dough with yeast is light and fluffy and delicious. So, why punch it? So apart from taking out all of your aggression, punching down the dough is also useful because it helps you to move temperature and moisture around so it's more even within the dough and it also helps the yeast find new sources of food. Finally, um, punching down the dough is also useful because it means that the gluten in the dough isn't as stressed by large air bubbles. Dividing these air bubbles is also great because it means that we end up with tastier, finer bread. So, now we're ready to stick these into the oven. And not long after, we have our result. The loaf without any yeast is a hard lump of sadness, and meanwhile the loaf with yeast is light and fluffy and looks pretty delicious. Funnel fact, yeast is often used in genetic studies as it is quick and easy to grow, but still has all the basic cellular processes we want to look at. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss a single episode of Victor Bake Science. Next episode we're going to be looking at meringues and the thousand ways that you can destroy them. Okay. Maybe not a thousand ways. That'd take a really long time. Maybe, maybe three? Three? Okay, cool. See you next time.